Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 710, 710 and this is part 4, part 3 we have already covered till part 3. In this presentation we will cover question from 76 to 100. Question number 76 is, Ramesh leaves his house Delhi at a particular time to go to his office. If he travels at 50 km per hour, he reaches 5 minutes late. And if he travels at 60 km per hour, he reaches 5 minutes early. At what speed should he travel to reach office on time? Now you can take LCM of 60 and 50. Let's see 300 is the total. Let's see. Let's take 300 is the total uh, distance in kilometer. If he travel at 50 km per hour, it means he will take 50 km per hour. He will take 6 hours. And if he travel with 60 km per hour, then he will take 5 hours. So the difference is 1 hour. Difference in timing is 1 hour. If the 60 minute is difference, 60 minute is difference, then distance is 300 km. But here the difference is he was earlier reaching 5 minutes late and now he will reach 5 minutes early. It means the gap is of 10 minutes. So if the difference is of 10 minutes, then distance would be equal to 300 by 60 into 10, you can say 50. 50 kilometer is the actual distance between uh, <coughs> for his office, from home to office, 50 kilometers is the distance. Now, what is the question? At what speed? At what speed should he travel to reach the office? Now he is going at 50 km per hour. It means in 60 minute. If he goes in 60 minute 50 km, but he will late by 5 minutes. It means it means he has to travel 50 km in 55 minutes. 55 minutes. 5 minutes less time he has to take. So 50 km 55 minutes. 55 minutes 50 kilometer and in 60 minute he has to travel with 50 by 55 into 60 600 divided by 11 this would be the speed that would be equal to 54.54 answer would be a what we have done in this question is that first we have taken 300 as the total distance we have let this and 50 km at the rate of 50 km he will take 6 hours but at the rate of 60 km he will take 5, five hours so the gap would be of a 1 hour 60 minutes you can say then the distance is 300 but the actual gap is 10 minutes so the actual distance would be 50 km but here the question is little bit different generally question is asked till here only but sometimes if it is asked at what speed should he travel to reach the office. Now the question has changed. So in 55 minutes he will reach in the office. And that is 50 km. Office is 50 km. So to travel to travel 60 minutes. To travel 60 minutes, he will the speed would be equal to 50 by 5, uh, 55 into into 60. That is 60 minutes. So answer would be 54.44. Um, 54.54 would be the answer. Answer is A. Next question, question number 77. The curved surface area of cylindrical pillar is 264 meter square. This is cylindrical pillar. You can say curved surface area that is 2 pi r and h, which is given 264. Its volume is 924. You can say pi r square h. Pi r square h is given 924. The ratio between diameter and height would be equal to. So you can divide this. You can divide this. We will have r would cancel to r, h to h. Then we will have 2 by r. That is, you can say. R is equal to 7. 
it means 2r that is diameter would be equal to because it is the question of diameter and height diameter would be equal to 14 and height would be equal to 2 pi r h r is given 7 and h we have to find and which is 264 so h is equal to 6 so the ratio of a diameter and height would be equal to 2 r and h would be equal to 14 and 6 that is 7 and 3 answer is d answer is d so what we have done that we have divided we have divided uh, cut surface area by volume then we will get the value r and from this we can calculate further question number 78 the ratio of the radius and height of a cone is 5 to 12. Its volume is 3142 by 7. That is 2200 by 7, you can say. Volume is 2200 by, 2200 by 7. We have to find the slant height. And this is cone. Like this, you can say. And ratio is 5. 5 radius and height 12 so 5 12 and 13 this is triplet Pythagoras triplet so answer in this case should be a however however to verify further you can if you want to do further you can do otherwise this would be the correct answer because question will be ma will be made according to the there would be something uh, according to the system that is you can say this triplet would be used however if you want to find like this 1 by 3 pi r square that is 22 by 7 r square we can take here 5x into 5x and h we can take here 12 12x pi r square h that is equal to 2200 divided by 7 now you can cancel to this you can get a 7 by 7 and you can get value of x is equal to 1 so the actually this is not in the ratio in fact this is actual radius and height then it would be equal to 13 answer is a next question question number 79 a theft is reported to a policeman the th thief started starts running and the policeman chases him when the policeman starts chasing the thief was at a distance of 250 meter you can say here is thief and here is police policeman and the, the distance is 250 meter thief and the policeman run at a speed of 8 km per hour he is running at 8 km per hour and he is running at 9 km per hour in the same direction you can say relative speed is 1 km per hour 1 km per hour is the relative speed in other words you can say in 60 minute 1 kilometer 60 kilometer 1 kilometer means 100 1000 meter is the <coughs> now the question is question is find the time policeman take to reach the thief so one uh, uh, 1000 meter he will the speed is 60 minute you can say 1 kilometer per hour to cover 250 meter he will take you can say 15 minute 15 minute 15 minute would be the answer we have to find the value of a kilometer that is one kilometer is equal to 60 minute because the speed is this then 250 would be equal to 15 minutes next question question number 80 if d e and f are the midpoints of the side of equilateral triangle this is equilateral triangle ABC then the ratio of the area of triangle DEF DEF this and DCE D C we can say this is DCE we have to find the value of this now see because this is midpoint and this is equilateral triangle also so this would be divided this line will divide to into these two equal in other words this is also parallel line so this triangle is equal to this triangle this triangle is equal to this triangle and this triangle is equal to this triangle 
because this is this is half if this this triangle would be equal to this in other words you can say if you um, if you move this triangle like uh, opposite to this then it will cover this triangle so you what is the question area of def def d e and f this area would be equal to e c d d e yeah, d c e d c e these are equal so 1 is to 1 should be the answer answer is d next question question number 81 p q r s is a cyclic quadrilateral such that ratio of the measure this is cyclic quadrilateral so cyclic quadrilateral means uh, quadrilateral inside circle and this is a this is pqrs p q r and s ratio of the measure of p q and r is 1 3 4 p q r that is x 3x and 4x 4x then the measure of s would be equal to we have to find the value of this now 4x and x that is 5x a vertically opposite angle opposite angle in this uh, quadrilateral would be equal to sum of 180 so 5x would be equal to 180 value of x would be equal to 36 if value of x is 36 then this would be equal to 36 into 3 108 and opposite angle sum would be equal to 180 so this would be equal to 72 answer would be a question number 82 let p and q be two points on a circle with center o p and q two point on a circle with center o if the tangent of the circle through p and q meet a point with p a q this is p a q you can write like this p a and q these are two point on circle and p and q is tangent q a p a tangent and meeting at a this is given and p a q 48 p a q this is 48 also even we have to find the value of a p q a p and q we have to find the value of this this we have to find the value now see from this this is 90 degree total and this is 90 degree why because tangent tangent will form with the center 90 degree if this is 90 degree this is 90 degree and this is 40 and this would be equal to then for uh, 180 minus 40, 48 180 minus 48 you can say 132 132 if this is 132 then this is, uh, is radius and this is radius it means this is isosceles triangle two sides would be equal that that means this angle would be equal to this angle and if it's 132 then it would be equal to these uh, some of these would be equal to 180 minus 132 that is 48 that is 48 so it means 24 is this and 24 is this total of 9 this is 90 total and 24 is this then this would be equal to we have to find the value of this this would be equal to then 90 minus 24 90 minus 24 that is 66 so 66 would be the answer answer is here b would be the answer the next question question number 83 a starts from x towards y at 10 am this is a he will start from x at 10 am here this is 10 am towards y y is here and b start from y towards 8 um, towards x this is b and that will start from at 11 am towards x 11 am if they reach their destination at 2 pm and 5 pm respectively that is 2 pm you can say four hours he will take a will take and b will take 5 pm that is 5 plus 1 6 6 hours to reach x he will take 
now at what time will they meet we have to find which time they will meet now see let's take total distance 4 and 6 you can take LCM you can assume 12 kilometer 12 kilometers is the total distance we have assumed you can also take 24 you can also take any other value also but the answer would be same now at 11 a.m. at 11 a.m. X will travel because he will travel B will start traveling at 11 a.m. so in within that period you can say the speed is now 4 hours and 12 kilometer so 3 kilometer per hour is the speed so in one hour he will travel 3 kilometer now the balance distance is 12 minus 3 that is 9 value of this would be equal to 9 this is 9 it means at 11 he will be here A will be here now B will also start from this side and B is traveling 6 in a 6 or 12 kilometer that that is speed is 2 kilometer per hour now he is traveling this side and A is traveling this side A is traveling with the speed of 3 kilometer per hour and B is traveling at the speed of 2 kilometer per hour so 3 plus 2 that is 5 kilometer per hour but the distance is 9 9 kilometer so at the rate of 5 kilometer 9 by 5 distance divided by speed divided by relative speed that would be equal to distance divided by speed that is time and this would be in hours so you can convert in convert in minutes that is 108 minutes they will meet after 11 am in other words you can say 1 hour and 48 minute 1 hour 48 minute after 11 am because this is after this is 11 am now so 11 plus 1 12 12 12 pm 12.48 pm you can say 12.48 pm they will meet answer is b so what we have done in this question is that we have assumed total distance that is 12 kilometer why we have assumed this because a will go in 4 hour and b will go in 6 hour in 6 hour <coughs> that is given because the time is given so this is given we have taken 12 so that it can there will be no fraction will fraction value so the speed would be in the, that way 3 km per hour and that is 2 km per hour from this we can find the value of a uh, time they will meet after 11 am to cover 9 km next question question number 84 if a b c d is a rectangle and p q are the midpoint of b c let's see a b c and D rectangle P Q are the midpoints of B C A D and R is any point on P Q this is P Q you can say R is any point any point you can take here then the triangle A R B a R B. This is the triangle. Instead of you can take this is triangle. Now, then A R B equal to which triangle this would be equal to? You can say A B C D. In A B C D you have to find. Now this is the base you can say. This is the base, and this is height, and this height is equal at all the side. So if this is you can say you can consider like this also area of this is equal to this but this area is equal to half of this that is a q p b this area would be you can say half of this entire so it means this is one fourth of entire because because this is half of a b c d so you can say if this is half of a q b p but a q b p is itself half of a, a d c b so this would be equal to 1 by 4 of a b c d answer is c next question question number 85 a man leaves a point p and reaches the point q in 3 hours 
P and this is point to Q in three hours. Three hours. Another main leaves the point Q one hour earlier and this is the point P in three hours. Now another person who will leave this one man, uh, one hour earlier and this is the point P in three hours. Three. You can say he will start from here. because he is already covered in one hour you can say this distance and in three hours three hours reaches the point P that is you can say this point he will reach this is the point find the time in which the first man meets to the second man finds the time in which the first man that is this will meet to the second person now you can take the total distance that is 12 you can take 12 kilometer you can take 15 kilometer whatever you want to take or you can take x also so at the rate in 3 kilometer he will travel for uh, 12 in 3 hours he will travel 12 kilometer the speed is 4 kilometer per hour it means and here this is uh, he is also traveling in 3 hours the entire journey so that this uh, speed would be 4 kilometer per hour but he started earlier that is he has already covered when he will start he has already covered 4 km so 8 km is the total distance here and now B has started and here Q has started after 1 hour again you can say the total distance is now 8 km so to travel 4 km 4 km they are going in opposite direction so they will take 1 hour they will take 1 hour and they will meet it means they will meet here that is here 4 km he will travel this side 4 km he will travel this side so they will meet here it means P will meet Q after one month after one hour after one hour answer is A next question question number 86 a polygon has 44 diagonals the number of side of the polygon would be how one so n n minus 1 divided by 2 minus n this is the value of diagonal that is 44 in other words you can also write to this n square minus n divided by 2 minus n or you can write n square minus n minus 2 n that is 44 sometimes you also use this n square minus 3 n divided by 2 sometimes you also use this either you can use this formula either you can use this formula so this would equal to 44 now n square minus 3 n is equal to 88 now put value from the option that will be a better idea that which value will suit you let's say 11 11 into 11 that is 121 minus 33 that is equal to 88 so answer would be a so you can put value in this formula whether you want to put in this formula or you want to put in this formula the thing is same you remember one formula that will be sufficient next question question number 87 if cos theta is equal to 5 by 13 you can take Pythagoras root and here 5 and 13 so it would be equal to 12 Pythagoras triplet then the value of cos theta plus 5 cos theta cos theta that is here 5 by 13 you can write here 5 by 13 plus 5 cot theta cot theta is equal to 5 by 12 so you can write here 25 by 12 directly you can write so 13 into 12 you can write 156 60 plus 320 that is equal to 385 divided by 156 and here cosec theta minus cos theta cosec theta is equal to 13 by 12 13 by 12 minus cos theta that is 5 by 13 5 by 13 that should be equal to 156 169 minus 60 you can say 109 divided by 156 so in other words you can also write 385 divided by 156 and 109 into 156 you will cancel it 
आंसर वुड बी थ्री एट्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाय वन जीरो नाइन थ्री एटी फाइव डिवाइड बाय वन जीरो नाइन सी वुड बी द आंसर वट वी हैव डन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट वी हैव जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू द पाइथा वर्स ट्रिपलेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट्टी एट इफ फोर साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री कोर्स थीटा देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इन दिस फोर साइन थीटा एंड साइन थीटा डिवाइड बाई कोर्स थीटा this side then this should be equal to 3 by 4 in other word tangent theta is equal to this would be equal to tangent theta sin by cos theta is equal to tangent theta that is 3 4 so this would be pythagoras triplet from this you can find the value easily secant square theta would be equal to now secant would be opposite of cos that is 5 by 4 so 25 by 9 divided by 25 by 16 that is 4 into 4 16 And here four one minus tangent square theta. Tangent would be equal to three by four. That is nine by sixteen. Nine by sixteen. So it is equal to four into sixteen minus nine. That is seven. Seven by sixteen. You can write here. So twenty five by twenty eight should be the answer because this will cancel to this twenty five divided by twenty eight. Answer is B. In this question, we have used Pythagoras triplet. Many of the questions in trigonometry you can solve by Pythagoras triplet concept and by putting value. Eighty percent question you will solve. Next question, question number eighty-nine. The number of side of the two regular polygons are in the ratio five is to four. The difference between their interior angle of the polygon is six degree. Then the number of side would be how many? Number of side would be how many? So five is to four is the ratio of sides. So five is to four. This is 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 five. Everything is every option is five is to four as far as sides are concerned. So from option first line from first statement we cannot calculate. I cannot find. Next is the difference between their interior angle. So exterior angle here if you take first option. First option if you take then. 300 divided by 15 and 300 divided by 12 so we will have 30 here and 24 here difference is here exterior angle difference is 6 also interior angle difference would be same right reason is 180 minus 30 this would be the interior angle that is 150 and 180 minus 24 that is 156 so difference is 6 so the first option is the right option otherwise you have to take second third like this this will be a better idea it will be easy to calculate in such a kind of question it is highly recommended it is highly recommended that you should opt this way because you first know exterior uh, angle value then you can easily know interior angle value because interior angle plus exterior angle value would be equal to 180 question number 90 Aeroplane when flying at a height of 3.25 meter from the ground passes vertically below an other plane at an instant when the angle of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground are 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. The distance between the two planes at that instant would be how many? How much? So. this is the plane here and distance of this height you can say is 3125 and there is another plane here here and angle of elevation would be like this like this 30 degree and 60 degree this is 30 degree and this would be 60 degree higher value would be 60 degree now we have to find the distance between the two planes at that instant we have to find the value of this we have to find this value now see from here 3125 divided by take it this x 3125 divided by x that is tangent theta and tangent theta is equal to 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 in other words you can say x is equal to this is equal to 3125 root 3 now from this you take from this you take here you can take it take it h here you can take it h 
or you take 3125 plus this as you can take so 3125 plus h divided by divided by this value 3125 root 3 is equal to tangent 60 that is root 3 that is a root 3 in other words you can say 3125 plus h is equal to 3125 into 3 and that is equal to 75 9375 so h would be equal to you can subtract 3125 from this we will get 6250 value of h is equal to 6250 answer is d so such kind of question you can solve by this method next question question number 91 the simplified value of secant x secant y plus tangent x into tangent y square minus secant x tangent y this is lengthy question but we have to find the value of this in such a kind of question you should try to put value that will be a better idea let's put here 45 so secant would be equal to root 2 root 2 we have taken x is equal to 45 y is equal to 45 secant 45 to root 2 root 2 into root 2 that is 2 plus tangent 1 and tangent 40 by 1 tangent y 45 that is 1 and 1 so it would be equal to 1 square minus secant that is root 2 into 1 because tangent 45 is equal to 1 plus tangent 1 and secant root 2 and square of this would be equal to 2 root 2 you can say 2 root 2 square would be equal to 8 this is 9 2 plus 1 3 root square would be 9 9 minus 8 1 would be 1 so if you put value even in such kind of question without calculation you can solve directly answer is d question number 92 spheres a and b have their radii 40 centimeter and 10 centimeter respectively this is radii ratio of the surface area of a to the surface area of b would be so 4 pi r square and 4 pi r square this is the surface area you can cancel to this side now radii is 40 and 10 so this is 40 and this is 10 so this would be the surface area you can say uh, surface area ratio 1600 and 100 16 is to 1 answer is d this is surface area ratio question number 93 when principal s is equal to s rate of interest is 2 r percent then person will get after three years at compound interest this is amount we have to find and principal what is the formula p 1 plus r by 100 into t or you can say n whatever you want to write p here is given s 1 plus r is given in terms of 2 r divided by 2 r percentage that is 2 r by 100 and t is given 3a so it should be equal to s this would be the answer already it is given in this format this is given this would be the answer answer is b now the next question because this would be 2 r divided by 100 that will be equal to r by 50 next question question number 94 a can go around a circular path a times in 40 minutes if the diameter of the circle is increased to 10 times the original diameter the time required by a to go around the new path once traveling at the same speed as before so this is the circular path and 8 times 40 minutes you can say 2 pi r that is circular path circumference you can say 2 pi r 8 times 40 minutes one time would be equal to 5 minutes which is equal to 5 minutes 2 pi r value is 5 minutes to travel 2 pi r distance now the diameter is increased 10 times diameter is increased 10 times in other 2 r in place of in place of di you can also write dy is equal to 5 minute so if we uh, 10 dy would be equal to it means 50 minutes multiply both side by 10 then 50 minutes would be the answer answer is 
see this is just an interpretation question there is no need of cal any calculation just interpretation think and you can solve this question question number 95 pqr and lmn are similar pqr and lmn you can write here p q r and l m n l m and n similar angle triangle 3 p q is equal to l m in other words you can say p q by l m is equal to 1 by 3 if this is 1 then this would be equal to 3 m n is 9 m n is 9 then q r would be equal to we have to find the value this is 1 then this is 3 this is 9 then this would be 3 q r would be equal to 3 answer is a Question number 96. <clears throat> In this question it is given the following is the pipe chart showing the spending of a family on various items in a particular year. And this is given the chart. Now the question is ratio of the total amount spent for food and medicine both. Food and medicine. So this would be equal to 30% and 12.5%. In other words, 300 and 125. 12.5 should be the ratio. Answer is C. Next question, question number 97. If the total amount spent on family <coughs> during the year was 50,000, how much they spend for buying clothes? If total amount on spend on family during the year was 50,000. Now we have to find the spend by buying on clothes. So clothes would be equal to 12.5% in 12.5% uh, is equal to 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 into 50,000 would be equal to 6,250. Answer is 8. You have to remember in such kind of question that 12.5 is equal to 1 by 8, 25% is equal to 1 by 4, 50% is equal to 1 by 2. That will be helpful to, uh, to find the answer easily. Question number 98. If the total amount spent on the family during the year was 35,000, then amount spent for the study of children and food together. Study of children. Study of children and food together. That is 30. 30 plus 25 that is 55 percent 55 percent into 35,000 that would be equal to you can write here like this also 5 into 11 into 35,000 and divided by 100 that should be equal to 11 into 35 and into 5 that should be equal to now that should be equal to this is 35,000. So this would be equal to 19,250. Answer is A. Question number 99. Angle of the pie chart representing the expenditure on the entertainment. On the entertainment would be how much? Expenditure on entertainment. This is 10%. 10% is equual to, you know, 100% is equal to 360 degree. Then 10% would be equal to 36. Because the entire angle is... 360 and this is 100%. So 100% representing 360, 10% representing 36 degree. Answer is C. Next question, question number 100. If the difference in the amount spent for buying clothes and house maintenance, buying clothes and house maintenance, that is 10% and 12.5% difference is 2.5%. Difference in the amount spent for buying Clothes and house maintenance was 1500. How much they spend for the house maintenance? House maintenance. So 2.5 percent is equal to 2 uh, is equal to 1500. 2.5 percent is the difference, which is representing 1500. Now we have to find the house maintenance. That is 10 percent would be equal to. That is four times. You can say 6000 would be the answer. Answer is a B. 4000. Uh, four times. 1500 into four times. That is six. 1000 and 2.5 into uh, 4 times that is 10 percent so 10 percent we have to find that is 6000 so in this way we have covered in this presentation question from 76 to 100 this was part 4 we have covered in this way each and every question of this test 
and in this test series we are covering which is 80 test series 80 test test series each and every question of each test thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best